Hello you guys and welcome to part two of my haul where I will be featuring Hobby Lobby and Home Goods and possibly some thrifted items if I have enough time. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tanika where I do home decor hauls, I do fashion hauls and a mix of things. So we'll get started with the haul. First thing I have is this really cute pillow you guys and if you know, I or if you don't know, I love a pillow with geometric, um, with like a geometric pattern on the front of it. And then it has like this tiger on the front, which I thought was really cool. And it kind of, kind of gives it like a retro vibe. Um, this pillow isn't down filled, um, but it, it was only $20. The regular price was $40. I purchased this pillow when it was 50% off and I purchased two of these pillows. Um, it's for my front porch. And then I purchased, I love this pillow, you guys. It's just a classic black and white stripe. It's made with an outdoor fabric. Um, and it's super big, you guys. It's a 24 by 24. I purchased this pillow last week. And I purchased it with the 75% off. And so I'm on a hunt to try to find a couple more of these. Um, I'm hoping I could score this weekend. Um... Yeah, I'm hoping I can score this weekend a couple more. And then also, because I'm trying to step my game up, when this COVID is over, I plan on having the best dinner party. Like, I'm talking, like, so much food, so much drinks, so many just, like, I, I just want to have a really just bomb dinner party. Um, and so, so with that, I want to step up my my well i want to get really pretty serving i don't have like any i don't think i have any type of pretty serving like flatware so i purchased this and it's cool because the handle is painted but it almost looks like a faux leather then it has like gold beads on it and it's just the, the fork and a spoon i purchased two sets of these and then also from hobby lobby I purchased this really cute plate, you guys. I told you I'm trying to step my game up with my dinnerware and stuff like that. I purchased 12 of these saucers. They had them in the big charger and then the regular size plate, but I just wanted to get the saucers. Um, and these were $2.99 with, I think I purchased these at 66%. Yeah, I purchased these at 66%. And then, you guys into this plate y'all a leopard dishes okay i have been eyeing these and when i first seen them as much as i love leopard i was just kind of like mm. but then when i went in there and it was 66 percent some i brought at 66 percent and then some i brought at 75 percent because i think i brought maybe 12 of these plates and they had the teacups, they had the saucers, but I just brought the plate. I thought I actually brought the saucers, but I didn't. I think when I go back, I'll get, purchase some of the saucers. But y'all, like, this is, these plates are so bomb. Like, you could do a lot. You could even do, you could even do this, you know, and then pop maybe another, like, a colored bowl on top or another smaller, you know, like, it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of... I don't know the possibilities like it's just really bomb you guys so yeah i purchased these were 9.99 i think yeah i think i per i forget i think i purchased 12 for these i think i'm not sure um but like i said i had been seeing them but i just didn't want to play regular price because these are just something like you know if i was doing like a girl's dinner or something like that i would you know set the table with these and just make it look really just cute and kind of edgy in a way um Hobby Lobby is kind of hit or miss for me, kind of like Ross. But the one thing I love about Hobby Lobby is when they have their, when they do their end of the, like, season, when they do their seasonal sales, when they try to clear things out, they clear the things out to move out the store. They'll have it 66%, and then they'll do 75%, and then they'll do, I don't know if they do 80. I think they may do 80 but I know they do 90. So, like, they, 
price the stuff to move out the store. Unlike some stores, it'll just sit and sit and sit 20%. And don't get me wrong, you know, saving is saving. But, you know, when you are buying certain things, sometimes you just, you don't want to, 20% off isn't really going to do it. So that's one of the things, that's why I go in Hobby Lobby. Because, like I say, when they clearance out things, they clearance it out to move out the store. And it's always hit or miss for me because their style, their decor is kind of more like farmhouse. It's not really my style aesthetics. I, I love it, but it's not my personal style aesthetics. But some things I do love. Like I say, I, I just love design. So I don't have one aesthetic or another, but it's just, I, it's always hit or miss for me. So... I'm laughing, you guys, because these eyelashes I have on are so long. Oh, my God. I like a long eyelash, but typically when I'm wearing these long eyelashes, I'll have on, you know, makeup, like a full face. So, I'm looking and I'm just laughing at myself because I'm like, girl, those eyelashes is really long. <laughs> but anyway, the next few items that I have is from Home Goods. Now y'all know home goods is bae. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all, when when the stores was closed, I missed home goods so much, y'all. I was just I kept looking on their website. Y'all, I was being so ridiculous. I was going on their Facebook page, like, when is y'all gonna open back up? Like, I really miss home goods. Cause you know, home goods is bae to me. Like I love home goods because it's you never know what's gonna be in there. Most stores have the same stuff, like they get the things in bulk and they'll, you know, they have the same stuff. With home goods, every time you go in there, there's always something different in there. And that's one of the things that I love because like I said, you can go in there and that's one of the reasons why you should go frequently. <laughs> Don't take my advice, I'm, not, I'm just saying. So. The next thing that I have from Home Goods, you guys, is this gorgeous vase with tulips in it. And the tulips are like, I don't know if you can see like the texture on the on them, but they look they're like real to real touch. It says on here, yeah, it says they're real touch. And they're just really pretty and then they have the acrylic water at the base. These were regularly like a hundred bucks, you guys. Um, but I I purchased them at 75% off because they're kind of like their uh Easter sale. I wish that I could have found another one. Um, they had them in yellow and then they had them in pink, but that really wasn't a color that I wanted. I want wanted a neutral white. Um, and I just love it. You can't see how large the vase is, but it's really, really large. Next from Home Goods, I have you guys. I told y'all, like, I'm on a sheet hunt. Is this sheet set? And it's 1200 count as well. Um, it has it's a it has the pillowcase, and then it has um, four, it has four pillowcases in it and it's a luxury brand. I've never used, I've never purchased this brand before. It's L'Oreal Comfort and Elegance. Um, and it was $34.99 and it has one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, four pillowcases. And this one is, it fits a deep mattress and that's why, um, a lot of times I try to purchase, as I said in the other video, um, I, I like for my fitted sheets to stay over on my bed but this is the brand right here you guys and i i purchased this a few weeks ago i have since then i have washed it a couple times um i will keep you guys updated on all these sheets and let you guys know um how they hold up um let me know in the comment section if you guys have purchased this brand before i i've never this is the first time i've even seen this brand at home goods and so next thing I have is this really cute um, mercury glass, glass vase 
with these flow pretty blue powder blue hydrangeas my last video that I did I actually purchased um, one these are for my bedroom and then I went on a hunt to try to find another one and so I was able to find another one the one that I purchased in my previous video um, I pay regular price for it but this one I when I purchased it I was able to score it on clearance so I was happy about that but it's just really pretty it's just the mercury glass and then it has the faux powder blue hydrangeas in it and I just thought this was really pretty next I have this I'm gonna have to get up just a little this wicker basket you guys and it's just a regular big basket um, with handles on the side um, as I stated in my other videos I love these wicker baskets it's a way to corral, corral all of your stuff in your home um, without it you know looking like a mess so I have them throughout my home in different areas of my home well I mostly have them in my family room and in my pantry and then I have a couple in my bedroom and then I have some in my son room so yeah they're all throughout my home last but not least you guys I'm so giddy um yeah I have this gorgeous lamp I love this lamp you can't see how large it is but it's really large um, it has the main base of it is mercury glass and then there's like a lot of small details that I love like I like the bottom plate on it and then the feet the feet the balls on it to keep from scratching their, your surfaces and then I love that it has this plate I don't know if you can see it has a plate to hold a chain and the chain is really long and then it has this little toggle piece at the bottom of the chain and this little piece is really heavy it's really substantial and heavy um this lamp is from drexel heritage this was on clearance if regular price was a hundred dollars um i got it on clearance for 50 bucks i wish that i could have found another one but i loved it so much that i just said i'll make the one lamp work um and then i'll show you the fennel at the top of it it's just a simple kind of like the pull chain the same thing that's at the bottom of the pull chain um but i just really lo love it the only thing you guys is the lamp shade is not the color that i want so i'm debating if i'm going to buy another lampshade because this is the perfect size or if i'll do like a diy and paint the lampshade which probably is what i'll do because it doesn't make sense to buy another lampshade when that one fits perfect so you guys that is it for my haul i will do another haul i think i'm going to do just a lighting haul because as i've stated in some of my other videos that I am in the right before COVID happened, I had started um, getting my house rewired. I have an older home, you guys. And so I had started getting my house rewired. And so I had purchased some light fixtures from the thrift store and from Restore. And so I think I'll just do like a lighting haul where I'll show you guys the videos. I'm sorry, not the videos. I thought somebody was at my door. I'll show you guys the all the lighting fixtures that I purchased from uh, the thrift stores and from Restore. And so if you have not subscribed, you guys, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you have a YouTube channel, leave your name on your channel at the bottom of the video in the comment section and let me know so that I can go over and visit you and say hi. Um, I don't watch a lot of TV, but I do watch a lot of YouTube videos. Until the next video, bye.